Did you know how easy it is to use our WAGO I.O. system with multiple field supply voltages in the same node? Here we will discuss and explain the differences between system power, field power, and the available voltages we interface with. A typical WAGO I.O. node consists of either a PLC or coupler, power supply modules, your choice of I.O. slices, and finally, an end module. First, we have system power. The head unit requires a 24 volt DC power supply. This powers the unit and provides system power, which is 5 volts DC, to the internal electronics of the other I.O. modules in the node. If the internal current demand exceeds the set value for the PLC or coupler, an additional supply module is necessary. That part number is a 750-613. Second, we have field side power. The majority of our I.O. modules require the presence of a field supply also. Typically, that would be a 24 volt DC supply. Simply provide another 24 volt DC power source and connect the positive to the plus plus and the negative to the minus minus of your supply module. Power jumper contacts will route the field supply down the node, in most cases, to the other I.O. modules. With adding different field supply modules, WAPO makes it easy for you to utilize different voltages, add individual power sources to meet current requirements, and implement separate groups for emergency stops all in the same node. Some available voltages are 5 to 15 volts DC, 24 volts DC, and 0 to 230 VAC or DC. WAGO also offers fused field supply modules utilizing a 5 by 20 millimeter fuse, filter modules, and some that even have built-in diagnostics. As you have seen, WAGO allows great flexibility when it comes to your IO's power requirements. We offer many solutions to fit your needs. Contact your local distributor or WAGO's tech support to easily assist you.